And Will, just to clarify, obviously, because there was this earthquake, there were buildings in Tokyo that were shaking. The country has been under distress because of that. As far as we understand, that had absolutely no impact on this situation. This is independent. As far as we know, because the earthquake uh, ended uh, and there were no aftershocks uh, that were certainly noticeable from here, about 20 minutes away uh, from where uh, th this incident happened at Haneda Airport. Um, but again, I was flying in here. I arrived just a few hours ago to cover the earthquake. That was our story. Um, and, and then that in and of itself, very sad for Japan uh, to just hours after ringing in the new year to have this massive earthquake and have the number of dead just going up, uh, you know, by the hour here. But but now uh, this story, which the pictures are horrific, but the headline is spectacular that 367 people and 12 crew members walked away from this alive. They survived this. And uh, the, the social media videos that we're still working to verify and clear for you, but we've been watching them, passengers that were inside the plane shooting out their windows. You could see uh, the engine on fire. You could see the engine scraping the ground. You could hear in the cabin, um, at least from the one video that I just watched, not a surprisingly loud amount of panic. It was almost, you could hear that people were startled, but um, one would imagine that, that uh, people were very focused if they were all able to get off that plane safely because they would have had just a matter of seconds. This was Japan Airlines flight 516 uh, from Sapporo to Tokyo. Sapporo is a tourist uh, hotspot. This is their prime season. Uh, and of course, this is a holiday weekend. So um, that plane was packed. It was a full flight. When you're talking about almost 400 people or so on board. Um, this is an Airbus A350, a very popular aircraft, a twin engine aircraft that a lot of different airlines use. Japan Airlines has a bunch of them. Uh, it has a pretty good safety record, uh, as, as all of you know, Japanese airlines do. Uh, one thing that they were saying on the news here is that this may be the first known incident of its kind at an airport in Japan. We're still trying to verify that. But this is a nation that has bullet trains, and never once have they had a fatality on their bullet trains because they're so diligent about safety. And the same is true with airlines. I mean, you should see the videos that they play for you when you're about to take off, when you're on any Japanese airline. It is so detailed and specific about the procedures that you need to follow. And clearly, that practice, those crew members, uh, th that attention to detail uh, has paid off in this case that all of these passengers were able to get off. One of the passengers posting on social media said in one of his uh, posts on X, formerly known as Twitter, he thought he was going to die. And when you look at these pictures, when the pictures first started coming in, uh, one would assume that this is a really horrific, tragic situation. And yet it is absolutely a very dramatic picture, but an absolutely incredible uh, outcome here for all of the people on board that plane getting off alive, Bianca. Uh, such good news, such a relief. As you say, Will, our audience is now looking at those live pictures from Tokyo, from the airport, where we can see that airplane engulfed in flames, as Will was describing all 367 passengers, 12 crew members able to escape the aircraft in what is just a staggering picture here of flames and thank goodness people got out alive because it it does look a lot more serious than than that just viewing it like that will